Anyway, I'm uh, honored to uh, introduce three very close friends that I uh, was blessed to meet at Puerto Rico this last summer. I met Sophia Stolberg, and uh, Sophia is going to be our first presenter today. And Cloud Elements is hosting a developer uh, intern exchange program with Puerto Rico. And we have Antonio and Kristen stand up. Uh, let's have a, a big round of applause and welcome. So Antonio and Kristen were the finalists out of 100 uh, developer applicants to uh, do a two-week internship with Cloud Elements. And uh, I picked them up the other day, and uh, they uh, were so bundled up, they looked like those kids in a Christmas story, you know, that the mom bundles <laughs> up. And, uh, and But anyway, they said, Gary, I'm, it, it, I, I've never seen or been in cold like this ever before, and it was 45 that day. And then... Uh, <laughs> Then we took them up to Breck Ranch. We had a hackathon all weekend uh, at one of our partners' homes up there, and so they got to actually play in the snow and see minus 30 weather, which uh, <laughs> they love. But anyway, let's have a, a let's have a big round of applause for Sophia and here about the exciting things that she's doing. Thank you, Gary. It's a privilege to be here at One Million Cups Denver. So my name is Sophia Stolberg, and I'm co-founder at Piloto 151. It's Puerto Rico's first co-working space and growth platform for entrepreneurs. But today, I want to talk to you about Code Trotters. It's a new program we recently launched. It seeks to help startups recruit top coder talent, while also at the same time, strengthen entrepreneurship ecosystems worldwide. So before I tell you about Code Trotters and walk you through all the details, I want to tell you about the story of Miguel Rios, if this works. Yes, it does. Okay. So Miguel Rios was born in Barceloneta. It's a very small town in Puerto Rico. How many of you know where Puerto Rico is, first of all? Let's just get everybody on the same page. Okay. So Puerto Rico is a very small island, 100 by 35, in the middle of uh, the Caribbean. And Barceloneta has about 20,000 people. So the population in Puerto Rico is about 3.6 million. This little town, about 20,000. Okay, Miguel went through our public education system, which I'm not proud to say is not very good, and he was the only kid from his class to graduate from college. He majored in computer engineering, and then he went on to become one of Twitter's first hires. So you ask yourselves, how did this kid from this very small town in an island in the middle of the Caribbean become one of Twitter's first hires? Of course, he's extremely talented, but early opportunities, early internship opportunities, helped him pave his career path and get to Twitter. So Miguel worked at the National Institute of Standards and Technology, and he did a summer internship program there. And after that, he got into the University of Maryland and worked at the Human Computer Interaction Lab, and that eventually got him to Twitter. And why is this so special? Miguel today gives back to his entrepreneurship ecosystem every single time he comes back to Puerto Rico. So on a monthly basis, he mentors entrepreneurs in our ecosystem. Eventually, in light of uh, Twitter's recent IPO, he'll become an angel investor. And he'll also perhaps start his own company and give back to our ecosystem so that we produce more high growth ventures that can scale their businesses internationally. So why is this story so special? Well. In Puerto Rico, we produce about a thousand graduates in computer sciences and engineers a year. That's more than any other state in the United States, okay? Out of those a thousand graduates, 90% of them leave. They, go to the, they come to the U.S. mostly. Why is that? Because the average salary in Puerto Rico for engineers and computer science majors is only $40,000 a year. So out of those 90% that leave, 100% of them go to big tech. Okay, so we have recruiters come to our university in Puerto Rico, and they go to Google, they go to IBM, they go to Microsoft, they go to federal agencies, NASA, NSA, you name it. But they never go to startups. And why do we think that is? So this is a map of the domains of an entrepreneurship ecosystem. It goes through six domains, policy, finance, culture, supports, human capital, and markets. Puerto Rico's entrepreneurship ecosystem is somewhat underdeveloped. Although we've made a lot of strides in recent years, we still have a lot of issues in the finance component, in the markets and access to markets component. We have a lot of support organizations, 
but unfortunately, not very many success stories that help motivate other programmers and other potential entrepreneurs to join the startup world, okay? And on the other hand, the other big problem we face, how many of you are in tech and are currently recruiting programmers and developers? Okay, very few of you actually. How many of you have had, of those that raised their hands, have had problems recruiting developers? Okay, yes. So recruiting top coder talent these days is very difficult on the other hand. You compete against big tech, and big tech, as you know, can pay higher salaries, they have better benefits, these days, programmers have multiple offers on the table. It's a lot easier to start their own businesses because the cost of starting a business has gone down dramatically. Fast-growing tech startups need more talent. And every day, it's just a lot more difficult to recruit. So what are your options? Well, typical solutions are paying high fees for recruiters that don't necessarily know how to identify talent for startups. It's a very different type of talent that you need from, from uh, big corporations. Or they just use internal resources that they could have otherwise used in product development to recruit top talent. So today, we're gonna talk to you about how we're trying to solve those two problems. And we'll take you step by step and then do a summary. So first step, first thing that you need to know about code trotters. We're not recruiters. We know how to identify startup talent. We're like the Harlem Globetrotters for code for coder uh, talent scouting. We're by startup founders and for startup founders. So everybody that you see here, these are all startup founders. Many of them have had very successful uh, ventures that have exited. Others are programmers that are working in startups in the U.S. Daniel Sousa right here. He works at SendGrid, New York. He was in Hack New York, Kyoto. Um, and these guys are doing this, they're, they're participating in this program on a volunteer basis because they want to give back to Puerto Rico's entrepreneurship ecosystem because nobody wants to do a startup in a place where they don't feel that they have the support they need to grow their ventures and maximize their potential. So essentially, this is the first thing that you need to know. Second thing that you need to know is that we look for talent where others don't. So by focusing on underdeveloped entrepreneurship ecosystems worldwide, and our first project and pilot program is in Puerto Rico, but our goal is to expand to other cities that have similar characteristics. So very high, uh, talented global uh, pools for coders, and on the other hand, underdeveloped ecosystems. And what does this create? This creates interns like Christian and like Antonio that are super excited to come to Cloud Elements and have this global opportunity and expand their global horizons and enter the startup world, okay? The third thing, we believe in dating before marrying. Now this is very important because in recruiting, if you start by having internships, then you can test drive before you purchase, right? So this is what we do. This is the first program that we're doing. Cloud Elements uh, is hosting these two interns. If they like these interns, then later they can go on to a second stage of perhaps discussing full-time employment opportunities. But the important thing is that we want to make a match that is long-lasting. And an internship program is a way to be able to do that. And finally, the way that this all comes together, and I'll walk you through all the process, is so we identify and select these interns. There are no fees at this point. Um, then they go through the internship program. In exchange for that internship program, and this is the way that entrepreneurship ecosystems are developed internationally, Cloud Elements, for instance, is going to send their top programmers to Puerto Rico. And while at Puerto Rico, they're going to be working there and giving mentoring hours and office hours to the startup community, presenting to the startup community, giving back to the entrepreneurship ecosystem in Puerto Rico. After this, they can decide, well, maybe we want to hire Christian and Antonio. So if we decide to hire Christian and Antonio, um, we can maybe uh, give them a full-time offer, then that's where our business model comes in. So we get a 15% recruitment fee. Now mind you, 15% is a 50% discount from the standard HR recruiting fee. Okay, so the standard is a third of the first year's annual salary, and we're only charging 15%. 
in exchange for that 50% discount. Again, Cloud Elements, or startups that participate in our program, have to give back to the ecosystem from where their programmers are hired. Okay, so this is a way for us to make money while we're at it, but also give back to entrepreneurship ecosystems and solve a problem that startups have, which is identifying and recruiting top talent uh, in programming. So essentially we have a triple bottom line, and um, this is our program. I just want to give you one final thought, and that is that Code Trotters unleashes global opportunities for startups that decide to join as well. Um, just to give you an example, had Mark Zuckerberg filed his taxes in Puerto Rico, his tax bill would have been 95% less. In Puerto Rico, we like to say that we're inside the US and outside the IRS. And if you want to know more about uh, these world-class tax incentives, please let me know. But the idea here is that this type of program also provides startups with global opportunities internationally. So thank you very much. I'll, I'll take questions now.